Now, I'm no stranger to the fact that I've talked multiple times about how much I hate the Walt Disney Corporation, but I've never actually explained why. But to explain why would take about a half hour. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to chop it into little bits and um, hopefully I'll be able to get my point across to you that this way rather than just a long form video that you're not going to watch. And I'm going to start with the creative side of Disney. <laughs> The Walt Disney Corporation used to be the powerhouse of animation. They they revolution not revolutionized 2D animation and 3D animation. They 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 never really let their creativity well run dry either. Plenty of people have a collection of the best Disney films and they're all from, you know, the 1900s, but back then there was true imagination. There was there was passion involved. Why do you think Cinderella and Aladdin and all these other movies had like straight to video sequels? Because the sequels lose something, and that's always been true, especially when it comes to Pixar. Look at Cars 2 and 3, Toy Story 2 and 3. Well, more is Toy Story 3 than 2. Incredibles 2. But as time goes on, it's becoming more and more clear that Disney is running out of creative juices. Which is a shame, because all they have to do is bring on new young people that have ideas, and they'll make good, new, unique movies. Do me a favor, check the Disney movie slate uh, for any year before 2013, and then check the movie slate for any year after. Especially this year. You have uh, three Marvel movies, you have a remake of a Mary Poppins uh, classic, really, and then you have a live-action version of The Nutcracker. And then you have A Wrinkle in Time, which is a remake based on a book. And then you have The Incredibles 2. There is no imagination in any of that. Oh yeah, Solo, A Star Wars Story. I forgot about that one. And the thing that's becoming clear is that Disney doesn't have new ideas. Sure, they did Strange Magic. Sure, they did Frozen. And that was not terribly long ago. But what's the most original thing that they've done since then? Like, maybe Into the Woods? And that's just an adaptation of a bunch of IPs they already have. Same with Once Upon a Time. It's not new because it's a different take. It's the same stuff, just in a different coat of paint. And because they can't come up with new stuff, they vultured Marvel. They vultured Lucasfilm, and now they're vulturing Warner so that they can make money off of other people's ideas. And it's... I'm not going to get into the business... But it shows that there's nothing left as far as creativity goes at the Walt Disney Corporation. The House of Mouse has become the House of Lethargic. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there right now. The Frozen sequel is coming out next year. So is Toy Story 4. And I know some of you guys are going to be really excited about that. But here's the thing. Frozen 1 was actually a very good movie. I, I like it. But a sequel is definitely going to lose some of that magic. Where do you go with that story? Same with Toy Story. Where do you go? Like, the ending of Toy Story 3 has subtext that you might not understand, and let me explain that to you right now. Andy gave his toys to this girl that would have only wanted certain ones. Like, she would definitely want Jesse or Mrs. Potato Head way more than she would want Rex or, or Buzz Lightyear or something like that. And it's kind of sad because she's eventually going to be giving these toys away again. Like, I've heard tell that the creative team behind Toy Story 3 wanted to end the movie in the furnace. The toys were supposed to go into the fire and melt and die. But Disney said, no, no, no. Toy Story is too popular. We need another sequel. So here we have a Toy Story 4 coming out in May, I believe. And that's another thing. Why would Disney want to own so many things that are releasing right next to each other? Like, that's going to compete with your own box office take-homes. It's like, what? what's the reason behind that? If you work at Disney, please let me know, because I would love to have a conversation. <laughs> the magic that went into movies like Strange Magic, like Frozen, um, like some stuff I'm sure exists, but I just missed the boat on it because it's not, you know, a live-action version of an animated movie from decades ago, or it's not a remake of a movie from decades ago. Or it's not a sequel to a movie from years ago. Disney is not impressive anymore. Like, their glory days are behind them, and they know that. But instead of being willing to pass the torch to somebody to lead the, the entertainment industry from here forward until someone takes the torch from them, they're like, we will never fade from relevance. We are Disney. 
we will take your property and we will take your property and we will take your property and then we will make money. And it's really sad, it's depressing really, especially for somebody like me that likes things to be pure and untouched, but Disney, they get it and they set rules. They set strict, harsh rules and let's face it, you're never gonna get the Deadpool that you know and love back. Another movie like Logan is never gonna happen. The one F-bomb per X-Men movie, never gonna happen again. We might not even get Predator or Alien after this. Definitely not Kingsman. Like, Disney going around and grabbing all these things because they're out of ideas makes other people's ideas weaker by proxy because now you have to obey Mickey Mouse's rules. And as a writer, as someone who's gonna be directing, pretty soon actually, there's nothing I hate more, well that's not true, there's little I hate more than watching creativity get like dumped on or, or stifled or limited or discouraged. Imagination is powerful if that's the industry that you're in. If you're in the industry of creating entertainment, never let your imagination, never let your ambition, your passion, your creativity be outshined by somebody else's rules. Take it somewhere else. If you have a script that Warner doesn't like, take it to Universal, take it to Sony. Somebody will let you flourish, all right? Disney won't. Disney won't let anybody flourish. I, it hurts me to watch Disney destroy things the way that they have been. But as of right now, there's no, there's no corporation big enough to take them down. So maybe we'll all live long enough to see them collapse on their own. Maybe they'll collapse in on themselves and become a void where Disney used to be under the pressure of all the stuff that they own and all the rules they're trying to set and keep. But until that happens, we're just going to have to wait this out. But thanks for watching me uh, talk to you very real about Disney and why I'm not a huge fan. And um, yeah, I don't really know how to end this one. If you agree with me about how Disney is terrible, then go ahead and leave me a comment. I really appreciate reading comments. It's, it's a fun pastime. And uh, leave a like if you agree. Leave a dislike if you disagree. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And share this video around with your friends. And as always, if you like what you've seen and you want to see more, well, I think you know the rest.